Two friends and a chat. Two friends and a chat. Two friends and a chat. So, Brandon, what's uh, what what do you want to talk about today? What's what's really um. Chewing at my craw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mobley Public Schools and all schools that are doing this, they, they're charging money for students to park their vehicle hmm. just to go to school. Every day? Every day. Really? Well, not charge every day. Charge a, a fee, a one, one-time fee a year just for, to park. And for the whole school home. year? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, our tax dollars pay for that. Why should we... They say it's for upkeep. Well, no, that's what the state is mm. supposed to do is to upkeep on that. Why should uh, the kids and or the parents pay to park? So so do they get like a, a, a designated spot each time they park or is that just? No, yeah, it's a designated spot. Um, the earlier, you know, like when you first turn 16, start driving, going to school, you, you've got to park a long ways away, you know, and whenever you use you know, like a junior and senior, you get, oh, clo- you oh, get to park a little closer. Oh, I see. You know, so. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that stuff's not right. I mean, they're already getting enough uh, tax dollars from people who don't even utilize the schools. Like for me, for instance, I've got no children and I've got no, uh, I, I have no children, so I'm paying like 60%, 66% in personal property taxes to, to for these schools. So what are they doing with all the money? If they're exactly. taxing people who don't even use it, then, I mean, yeah, it's just a terrible, in my opinion, it's just a terrible misman- mismanagement of funds and they're, and then now they're coming back for more. It doesn't make any sense. And what what cities did you say you'd heard uh, of that the surrounding cities uh, are Ch- also charging? Chillicothe is the one I've heard. But it, uh, Mobley is fairly new, right? I mean, as, as far as like they, they did a remodel and they've got everything upgraded. and they, They're doing some stuff, yes. Yeah. And uh, still, I don't understand why they should be getting charged at all. I mean, remotely, I think they should, the parents should be getting their refund, getting their money back. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh I talked to a few guys that are running for school council and stuff like that and uh, told them the situation. They're going to try to address it if they get elected. Yeah. Well, they need to address it because it's bullshit. You got that but, right. I mean, something I – because Marvelly, I mean, it's a beautiful school. And they, you can tell they spent some damn good money on renovations and, you know, ah. just the, the whole campus is just mm-hmm. amazing. And that's kind of how I compare it to Chillicothe. You go to Chillicothe and it's a, you know, brand new facilities and just very, you know, uptown. So – I'm just wondering if it's something that you know they've they've spent a little too much on on that stuff, and they're just trying to find a way to get the money or what. I heard that they this this is just what I heard. I don't know the exact numbers, but I heard they spent a million dollars just on astroturf there at mm-hmm. Mobley at the football yeah. field. Yeah, that's something that we were was it you and I talking about that recently? What they did here at the field? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they. Uh, I don't even know ex- all of what they did, but they put an astroturf and they what else did they do? Uh, brand new track, just so they. Um, it has more lanes, so you can do state competitions here, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then um, the, you can do band competitions on it too. That that that's what they um, said to the public to justify the spending, I guess. You know, we can we can bring more schools here. We can have better competitions and all that sort of jazz. But yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. They 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 are complaining about need more money for all this essential stuff, and then they go and they spend all this money on the new field and. Uh, uh, the track, yeah, does that make any sense? No, and I think as some of these uh, underprivileged children and stuff like that, they you got to have pretty much internet anymore to do your homework mm-hmm. and everything else. When you go home, not all parents can uh, afford to, to get internet and stuff. All this money that they're spending on football fields and stuff mm-hmm. like that, they could be using that to help pay for these kids as like internet so they can do their schoolwork and stuff like that, you know? Well, th- there's no doubt these athletic programs – I mean, they, they they make a lot of money off these kids in these sports, you know, especially if they're doing good, you know. And, um, you know, you can tell that's where they invest the money in because they know that, you know, hopefully with these big, beautiful stadiums. And it's like it's like these days they, they draw up a blueprint of a, a school and they got these, uh, you know, tennis courts, football stadiums, soccer fields, and then uh, maybe here in this little corner of the land, we'll, we'll build a school. But yeah, it's all it's all about the sports complexes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually wonder how much money they do make, though. I don't, I, I, I don't. I bet they're not revenue neutral. I bet they spend money just on operating, just the operating costs, like busing the school, the children back and forth, and all that. I'd, I'd mm-hmm. say they're probably losing money on that as well. Which I would am interested in if they are. I'm very interested. Well, then why do you think they emphasize so much on these 
sporting facilities. I don't facilities. have a clue. I don't have a clue. Maybe it's the wrong people that are in power. Maybe it's people who are intertwined with the uh, the academic programs are the ones that are making these calls, like high up there and have the authority to make these types of calls. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested, though. I've done, mm-hmm. I've done orientation where I've taken my children and, uh, you know, uh, go check out their classes and all uh-huh. that kind of stuff and where the locker was. They had buckets in the hallway catching water because the roofs are leaking. Yeah, right, but, but you can go off and spend that much money oh, on well. football fields yeah. and stuff. It just does not make sense to me, none yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. 